Hi, this is Doug Klein with Database by Doug, and I'm going to cover the bit data type and the way it behaves, uh, especially in terms of how it converts from other data types. So I saw something odd in a bit of code that I saw the other day, and I thought I would cover it. So we're going to use the Northwind database uh, because it conveniently has the discontinued bit field data type. Uh, in the products table. And as you can see, it's values, zeros, and ones. So discontinued is a bit data type. And of course, product ID is an integer data type. And the reason I bring that up is because generally, uh, bit data types are considered to be very small integers. They're kind of like a smaller tiny int, where tiny int only has values 0 to 255, bit has values 0 and 1, and Microsoft um, lists this, a bit field, here at this link uh, in the same grouping as an exact numeric. So certainly bits are stored different internally, but ostensibly they would behave consistently as integers. So let me um, let me point out one inconsistency is if I try to update this um, this field, the discontinued bit field, to a null, uh, it denies that. I can't put null into a bit field. So, so this is clearly inconsistent with integers. Uh, it's fine for an integer to have a null value. So, so here's one inconsistency. And Let's um, let's start going through how does how do integers get treated here using product ID. So, if I'm coming from a uh, I'm doing an implicit conversion to an integer from a string, and that just works fine. There's an implicit conversion that occurs, and if I use some non-numeric or a non-digits in the uh, string, then the conversion fails. Here I have a conversion that works fine and it matches on a certain product ID. When I use something fairly big, uh, the conversion also succeeds, but I just don't have a product ID like that. So let's say I convert from um, a decimal number as a string into a product ID. I get an implicit conversion failure. If I do a negative, it converts fine. Uh, but there just happens to be no product that has that. But here's the, the bit of odd code that I saw the other day, which is what happens with a zero length string. So it converts fine, it just says that there's no records there. So, so if I inspect directly what does an integer, uh, zero length string convert to as an integer, it converts to a zero. So if we're using a bit field, that zero, of course, is going to ostensibly mean false. Um, but let's look at how bit fields work um, with these same implicit conversions. So here's a one that converts fine, and it, uh, it equates to some values I have. The zero converts fine. It equates to some values I have. This fails, so this is consistent with an integer. If I use something bigger than the values allowed, um, it converts. So maybe this is a truncation. So let me see if it works with my big number. Well, maybe it's a it's a conversion uh, with a truncation. Well, let me see. Put a leading zero here and see if it converts. So no, it doesn't convert with truncation. Uh, what's going on is that any non-zero value that's a valid integer be converts as a one. So this is a little bit of an odd behavior to me. So if I have a zero in the string, it will convert to zero. But any other integer value in here will convert to a one. So that's kind of Boolean-like. Um, you know, many languages do that, where any non-zero becomes true in Boolean, but a zero value becomes zero or false. So let's try a floating point, uh, invalid conversion. Let's try a negative one. So 
this is inconsistent. So it it uh, it doesn't convert like an integer, but maybe it's because the negative one is outside the domain, the valid domain of discontinued. So we'll look at that a little bit later. But here I have an empty string, and an empty string similar to the integer converts to a zero. So integer seems to be somewhat uh, inconsistent with bit and how they treat negatives. So let's take a uh, tiny int which doesn't give, um, doesn't allow negative values. So let's let's do this. So I get an interesting uh, error here that this is an overflow. In other words, it's outside the domain of tiny int, which only has a valid domain of 0 through 255. But what if I do a negative one in bit? This is that the conversion failed. So what if I take those values outside of a string? So here I get an overflow. And when I do this, I get a successful conversion. So it's now, uh, when I'm converting like this, it becomes, it's a non-zero valid integer, which translates into a 1 or true, which is fairly consistent with the way Booleans are treated in other languages. But again, is it an exact numeric or is it a Boolean? So it, it seems to, its behavior is, is a little bit strange. Uh, it's not consistently Boolean. It's not consistently a very tiny integer. So I guess for SQL Server, you just need to know how it behaves and use it uh, appropriately. So in my experience, it's always used in practice in SQL Server. It's always used like it's a uh, Boolean or logical value. So personally, I'd prefer to have it behave consistently as a Boolean or logical value so that um, certain, certain things that convert, like a zero length string, um, should fail as a conversion. Um, and just you know consistently treat it like it's a boolean rather than sort of make it uh, behave like a integer data type or an exact numeric so thanks for watching this is database by doug